Okay, hello everyone. Today we're going to make a birdhouse in Flash today. So we're going to start off with just choosing a rectangle tool and just pulling it down with the shift button to make it a nice square. When we get that go, it will just be one of our colours from our palette here. But we don't want that one. So if we click on our square here and use our eyedropper tool, we could just choose this lovely little yellow here. So click off, remove that. You just drag this down a little bit, hold your Alt key and click and pull up and it just duplicates your shape there. Right, with these ones, we next want to go to our pen tool and click on the delete anchor point tool and just delete the corner of our shape there. Go back to our selection tool and just drag that just into the middle there just to give us our roof. Right, at this stage we should be able to just pull that down and we've got a nice little roof there for us. Next stage we want to do it's possibly saved it as a layer so we can't destroy it in any form and we'll just call this next one our roof now only thing we do on this page now we can't we can't alter that at all unless we unlock it so we've got no problems if we go above it so we're just going to choose our rectangle tool again and just we just want to create a shape that will look like a roof of our birdhouse so of course if we just choose one like that, just get rid of the stroke of that shape. We're just selecting it all, just choosing no stroke. Pull it apart a little bit and change the colour, make it a bit easier for ourselves. If we use the free transform tool, it should make it a bit easier to just get it into position. So we want that to be quite level with our actual house. Just pull that down, like so, bring it up a bit, might need to be slightly bigger sometimes to get it to be the right shape, so pull that down a little bit like that, but this, this shape's actually a bit too wide so we're just going to slim it down a little bit like so, that should be okay like that. Whilst we've got this shape selected, I'm just going to use our sub selection tool to just pull that side out just a tiny bit, just to make it a little bit more flat to the surface. We just need to create another shape, which will be the other side of our roof. So if we click selection tool and modify this one. Again, we kind of want it to be the same, same shape as our house. So we'll just pull that across to meet up with there. Pull our shape out. Make it a little bit skinnier. And then we can use this tilt button here, which you can just see. So if I just pull that out across. This gives our house a bit more of a, a roof-like shape. So I could just double click on that one. One of the problems you might have is that if your, your roof is the same colour as the other side, they'll just merge together, but we can change this just using the pen tool. You can sometimes even delete it. So it just creates a fuller shape there. That should be okay. Now we'll just pull that across like so. And you might just want to have the back of that just a little bit flatter as well. Maybe even bring up this edge here. kind of give it more body on the actual roof itself. 
looks a bit strange at the moment but when you bring this side in it does give it a bit more depth so if we bring that level a bit more like so just that one and we'll just save that side by locking it and creating a new layer and this side of the house we just might want to pull this down underneath the roof just so that it doesn't sit on top of that one but you can always change it at a later time so create a new shape pull that down to the side and just put it alongside that one Okay, we'll do that in a second because we don't want this, that stroke on that so if we just do that again highlight our object get rid of the stroke and we'll just change the colour to this orange here because I don't think we've used that one in this picture so we'll just marry that up and I think here as well we're going to want to change the tilt again so we'll put that level with that front of the house and then we'll just change the tilt just slightly up which gives the, the house a bit of depth but as you can see it makes the roof look quite short so we can lock that layer, unlock our roof layer, click the top of that one and just change the shape a tiny bit just to kind of sit on top a bit nicer like so you can always play around with the sections to make it a little bit more efficient for you it generally works out quite well right now we've got to this stage we need a little hole for our birdie friends to go into so we're just going to create an oval tool down the side here but I'm just going to highlight that click control or command and C to copy that picture we'll save that one, we'll actually do this in a separate layer so that it doesn't mess up our picture and we can just paste and that will be on our new layer ready for us to use. Whilst that's highlighted we'll use our eyedropper and just make this a nice grey to show more depth and use another rectangle just put that alongside that one use your sub selection tool or your selection tool and just give us a different colour let's give us a nice brown there We'll just place that in there just to the side a little bit and here we use our um, sub selection tool again and if you click on the inside of this shape you'll see that these pointers come up which you can just move so if we just do so just pop those into the corners a little bit And if you click off of this shape and choose your selection tool, we can just push these little bits in, in to actually complete the shape. Like so. And then in the middle here, you can just pull it and that gives a hole just a tiny bit of depth there just to give it a bit more. So we'll just zoom out. And whilst that is unlocked still, we can just highlight that whole circle, just pop it right there in our shape. And there we have our birdhouse.